Hi, it's Mr. Kurt Nielsen. It's late and I'm a little tired, but you think I'd forget you? No way. You got 15 minutes? Let's have a little bit of fun. Oh, if you're feeling down as dirt, come on and have some fun with Kurt. We'll paint a bit and horse around. I'll pick your spirits off of the ground. Well, friends, we have a dog barking and no timer. But hey, I'm still going to draw the... Uh, let's just have a show, huh? I'm going to draw a picture for you. I don't have my normal setup today. I don't have my normal setup today. But I can make art anyway. I got a dog barking in the background. What is he barking at? I don't know. But I'm still going to entertain you with my little stupid show. Because this is what I do. This is what I do. Not for me. Mostly for you. All right. It's a nice day today. Lots of, lots of fun. Oh, dog stop barking. This is good. Where's my mind taking me today? I don't know. Oh, this is exciting. All right. Well, I've been busy lately. It's been getting hot. Maybe that's reflecting in my art. I don't know. It's been really hot, and you can kind of hear it in my voice. You know I have sinus issues. This is something that is ongoing with me. And um, <clears throat> I get post-nasal drip. All the fun, sexy things. And it makes it hard to talk. And, uh, you, yeah. So, I mean, I may be squeaking by the end of this episode. But, um, you know what? You're still going to watch because you love me. And I love you. And I'm watching through the viewfinder, so I don't know exactly what I'm doing half the time here. But this is still fun. Okay, I'm going to kind of stop at this. Um, yeah, I'm looking at the little screen instead of actually looking at the art. So maybe I'm at a disadvantage. I don't know. And honestly, I don't care because it's still art no matter what. You know, that's the thing about art. You know, you can make excuses for yourself. People are like, well, it could have been this. It could have been that. And then you say, well, actually, what I was trying to say was and then actually what I was intending. But this happened and that happened. And then you point out a political thing. You can make any kind of excuse in the world for your art and uh, and make it seem like you're a genius. You just got to be creative, you see. That's all. So when I talk about this, you know, my art not turning out right, I can just say, well, you know, with the political agenda going on in Uganda at the time, you know, and of course it could be just complete malarkey, but, you know, some people will buy into it. Or at least, and, and if they don't know about it, they'll say, oh God, maybe I'm not intelligent. Maybe I'm not smart enough to know this. Maybe Kurt really is a genius. And of course you're just lying to them. This is what we do in art. We create worlds, <laughs> and sometimes they're worlds for our own convenience, just to um, just to get around our inadequacies. Isn't that marvelous? Oh well, I just gave you some some real insight there. It's all about publicity. You make people see what you want them to see. Don't look at the man behind the curtain. <laughs> all right. Oh my gosh, what is this? Almost like an Annie Lennox thing happening over here. What are sweet dreams made of? <laughs> this. <laughs> Who am I to disagree? All right, folks, uh, <laughs> let's, let's, let's do some painting here. I just realized as I was doing this that I don't have a paint set in front of me, so I got to go grab this too. Um, I also realized that I don't have uh, paint brushes. In I just shut off the camera. Boy, I can't do anything. I'm hooked up to my charger right now. <laughs> You know, one of these days, I'm going to have like a real setup. Oh, it's going to be amazing. Instead of having a bag of Granny Goose potato chips down at the foot of my bed, I'm going to have like like a paint set. But speaking of paint set, let me, let me go grab my paint set and my brushes and all that. See, it's sitting right here, right next to a box of Fruity Pebbles. But I, my whole life is just all topsy-turvy right now. But that's what fuels the artist, isn't it? Okay, let me get my whole setup here brushes on my lap let's get back to filming the show and now after these messages we came right back okay here we go okay let's make this good okay so I, again i'm looking through the viewfinder i'm not looking directly at the oh god it's gonna be it's gonna be very slapdash today but you'll still like it you know why because of that war in uganda that i'm representing 
That's what it's all about. And then you'll see, <laughs> you're like, what? Yeah, exactly. Okay, how messed up am I? When I think of Uganda, what's the first thing I think of? Kamala the Ugandan headhunter. So not PC. But, you know, for us back in the 80s, you all remember Kamala the Ugandan headhunter? Okay, so, so his real name was Jim Harris. So when he died, I said, rest in peace, Jim Harris, a.k.a. Kamala. And everybody thought, what, Kamala Harris is dead? I'm like, oh, no. No, 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 it's not like that, kids. But that's what he'll forever be branded with, Kamala Harris, Kamala the Ugandan giant. And, um, of course, you, Kamala, the gimmick, is so not PC nowadays. Um, Jim Harris is dead now, but he played like a Ugandan savage, tribal war paint, and carrying a spear and everything. Um, that's what we did back then. Yes, indeed, we were. we didn't care. Um, but, well, we do now. We've got Juneteenth now. That's a new holiday. I'm glad. You know what? we got to acknowledge each other. we got to acknowledge each other's struggles and, and each other's worth. It's about damn time. I mean, really, you know? God, I can't believe it's taken so long. I'm embarrassed sometimes to be an American. I mean, come on. Let's just wake up and be nice to each other. It's not that hard, folks, really. Come on. It's not that hard. Anyway, um, what was I going to say? Something profound, I'm sure. Something stupid, I'm very sure. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I'm doing my art. I'm doing my art. Tomorrow's my birthday. I'm all excited about that. I almost wasn't going to do my art today. But you know what? My dedication is to you, kids. And i got to make it happen. No matter what. By hook or by crook, I'm going to make this happen. For you. I know it's really hard to follow this video. Have I had a few drinks? Well, not that many, but I've had a few drinks. Over a period of time. I mean, it's not just, you know, all in one fell swoop. Oh, there you go. There you go. As always, you look at my art and you're like, eh, I don't I don't quite get it, Kurt. What 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 what's in your head? What what motivates you? You know what motivates me the moment? The moment motivates me. I go with the moment, and whatever looks right at that moment, that's the right answer. And if it's wrong 10 minutes later, well, it's too late, you know? I already made my bed, and I'm gonna lay in it. And that's okay. It's okay. But that's, I think the best art comes out that way. I'm not afraid to make mistakes. Lord knows I make them every single day in about everything that I do. But do you think I care? Nope. I don't. Oh, man. See, I could be like Bob Ross and painting happy little trees, but I don't care to paint happy little trees. I'd rather paint this wacky stuff and talk about Kamala Harris as it relates to professional wrestling. You know what I mean? That's how I'm wired. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Well, this is fun. This is fun. There's There's something here. I don't know what it is yet, but this is fun. Okay, so it's been hot lately, and I've had my allergy issues lately, and it's been hard to do my art. I won't lie to you. Some mornings I wake up, and it's just hard to breathe, you know? But whatever, I'm going to keep on fighting, keep on moving. Was that soul to soul? Keep on moving. I like this Annie Lennox thing happening up here. I love that Annie Lennox. Remember the first time I saw Annie Lennox? I didn't know what to make of her. She didn't look like a man. She didn't look like a woman. She almost didn't even look human. Scary thing. Sweet dreams are made of this. Who am I to disagree? Travel the world and the seven seas. Everybody's looking for something. Some of them want to use you. Some of them want to get used by you. Some of them want to abuse you. And you know what? Some of them want to be abused. I haven't met these people yet, but, uh, I'm, you know, according to Annie Lennox, they exist. So Annie Lennox has not lied to me yet. So I can't, I can't, uh, I can't say no to Annie Lennox. I can't say no. All right. So tomorrow's my birthday. What does that mean to me? I don't know. I've been thinking about Kamala Harris a lot lately. 
or at least in this video. And I've been thinking of professional wrestling, as I always have, as I always do. Lately, I've been thinking of the matches of Superstar Bill Dundee. You all familiar with him? Please look him up. Wonderful worker. Still performing. Um, nearing 80. He's a heck of a heck of a guy. On the short side, but what a worker. Holy smokes. If you're not familiar with Superstar Bill Dundee, you don't know beans. The position I'm in right now is very uncomfortable. My legs are starting to hurt. And yet, I'm still making art for you. These are the sacrifices that I make for you. Aren't you lucky? Aren't you lucky that I'm here? Well, then again, let's face it. Aren't I lucky that I'm here too? I'm really lucky to be here. After all the craziness that we've gone through in the world lately. We're blessed. We're blessed. And I am blessed. And back to my birthday. I am blessed in so many ways. I've been thinking about that a lot lately. On a serious side, I have been thinking about that a lot lately. You know, every time your birthday comes up, you, you think about who you are and what you've been and where you've gone and what you like to do with the rest of your life. And honestly, I just want people to be happy and I want people to produce and, and I want everybody to be their very best, you know, and the best thing that I can do to be part of the world is, is to facilitate goodness through my art and through positivity <clears throat> and, um, and just by living a good life. Um, I know that sounds cheesy, um, but, um, it's how I feel. Um, so I just want to keep doing what I do, making people happy, making people smile. And, uh, th that's what I want to do with the rest of my life. I'm not motivated by money, although money is lovely. Um, I would rather have, um, quality moments in my life and I would rather, um, people recognize each other and their worth and, uh, and help each other to the next level. So they can become the best that they can possibly be. God, I'm crazy. I'm crazy. I know I should be asking for a million dollars right now, but honestly, I don't want it. Although I'd like to have a house. If someone out there wants to donate me a house, I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> or not, if I have to pay taxes on it. All right. I think I'm near the 15 minute mark. I don't know. My legs are cramping. You want to call it 15 minutes? Here, let's get some more red in here. I mean, this looks pretty good to me. Well, you look pretty good to me. And I thank you all supporting... I can't talk. I thank you all for supporting me and being my friends and, and for caring and, and loving and, and, and making me laugh and, and um, helping me through the rough times. You're You're so cherished. I mean that. And it's not even alcohol talking because I'm not even that drunk. I'm just... I don't know. I just got a lot of things on my mind. So there you go. That's your picture tonight. Um, very informal. Holy smokes. As informal as it's going to get. But uh, kids, I love you. Bye.